What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, we're back with our first look video, the series where I play a video game for the very first time, for your visual enjoyment. Today we're playing It Came From Outer Space and Ate Our Brains, which is a top-down arcade survival shooter by Triangle Studios. I think that pretty much kind of sums up what this game is pretty nicely there. Um, pretty much you have a gun and there's aliens trying to eat your brain and you must stop them with said gun. Anyways, if you want to skip right to the gameplay, please click the annotation at the top left. By the way, we're in version 1.0.1. Um, otherwise, we're gonna take a look at the settings menu really quick. Not a lot, there's different resolutions at different speeds. I have a 144 hertz monitor, so mine goes up to this much. I'm not quite sure if it will, if you have a 60 or, or whatnot. Quality, there's low, medium, and high. Not a lot of options there. I like to see more like where you can check certain things on and off like shadow quality and I don't know, texture quality and an isotropic filtering and anti-aliasing. Low, medium, high doesn't really tell me much, but at least they have a quality slider here or a selection here. Now there's also music and sound effects sliders up to 100, always good to see, as well as windowed mode. Let's go into the control bindings here. On keyboard, you have W, A, S, and D for moving. Left mouse button is fire. Block drone, not quite sure that is, what that is, but we'll have to take a look. That's tab. Pause game is escape. Oh, that's funny, it's, it's spelled just like escape. And then you can also chat. There is multiplayer in this game, by the way. Now this game does also feature um, con slight controller support. Uh, partial, that's what I was looking for. So my Xbox 360 controller seems to have worked a little bit. We're gonna test that out here because I prefer to do kind of twin stick shooters with that. And so we'll try this out as well. You can rebind everything but movement, which I don't know why you try and move with like A, X, B, and Y or something. That would be odd. Or maybe like, you know, left mouse or left bumper, right bumper, and the triggers, that would be odd as well. So that definitely makes sense. Let's head back here. There is multiplayer, although it seems like people have been having issues. So I'm gonna refresh it here. It doesn't look like there's any here. I don't know if this is because there aren't any right now or because I'm having issues with my port forwarding and all that kind of stuff. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to test that for you guys, but I'm gonna look at it a little bit and see what's going on. And you can connect to ones directly if your friends are playing. You can join, join random, and you can also host as well. I wanted to mention right before we get into it that you can pick this up on Steam for the price of $9.99. It has a few Steam things like leaderboards and achievements and stuff, but no, no um, trading cards or anything, at least not yet. They might add it in later and such. Uh, with that, let's get right in and see what's going on. There's six levels. It looks like hospital, city, highway, countryside, crash site, and their home planet. You can see here on the right the scoreboards I haven't played, so there's nothing for local. There's also, uh, I guess, world and friends, I'm guessing. I'm not quite sure. But And then easy, medium, hard, or insane. We'll start on medium, and maybe we'll try insane later just to see how that goes as well. So I did want to mention there is multiplayer in this game, but I do not believe there's local multiplayer. I tried to set it up with my uh, keyboard and my controller and I couldn't get to work. So I apologize if there is and I'm wrong, but I couldn't get it to work. I also like how it shows your high score there in the bottom right. That's kind of nifty. Let's get into a game here, shall we? And from here, I'm gonna try using this first. All right, so. It looks like, oop. So pause is on your, where you detent in one of your sticks, which you can change, but I don't feel like that's a good kind of place for it, you know? Um, it also seems like you kind of almost snap to eight directional firing. Not quite, but almost. So, which um, I'd rather have kind of more fluid 360 as you can see it kind of snaps a little bit 
it's it's more annoying than everything. It still works absolutely fine. You'll also notice that we get multipliers when we kill things in a row. And, oh, they charge you when you're not looking at them, apparently. And also that you get points. And with those points, I believe you can buy stuff. So we're going to take a look at that here a little bit. You can see our, our coins in the top right there. So we get points. And then we also, looks like we get coins for killing things as well. This must be, yeah, that's where they spawn. All right. So, so far, I actually really, really like the design style of this. The aesthetics of this game, if you will. It's very minimalistic, kind of blocky. Reminds me a little bit of Minecraft. Although that's the only thing that reminds me of Minecraft in this game. Definitely not a clone by any means other than maybe the main character's aesthetics. Um or design but it's it's very what's the word I'm looking for you know kind of like new age artists with their kind of like really cl uh, clean cut white work of art that's what this reminds me of oh we got we took damage there like an idiot but that is a good segue if you look up the top left we have three hearts worth of damage that we can take so let's see here we have two left. I believe this guy up here drops us goodies. So we probably should kind of look for that as well. So I also really, really like their choice in color scheme. So where everything that you're supposed to be kind of paying attention to and stuff is really bright and colorful and stands out. Like the alien's blood and the alien's mouth so you can see in the dark like that. Definitely makes it easier to spot them. Although... You know, it's not actually really that difficult. We do have a flashlight that makes it easier. But I feel like even without the flashlight, we wouldn't have much of an issue. These blocks here are power-ups and such. Oh, that was like a real big power-up. That one there was a power-up for our gun. As you can see, we have like a rocket launcher now. That's pretty awesome. And then the, the yellow ones. Oh, we're going to get... We already have an upgrade, so we can't... Take another one. Oh, we're back to our pistol. Let's, let's pick this up, see what we've got. What is this? It's a machine gun. All right. Let's mow some aliens down. There we go. So, there we go. Not, not too difficult, but we are on medium difficulty. And we are also, you know, only on level or wave number two or so. So, I wouldn't expect it to be that difficult anyways. I like the use of shadows with your with your um, flashlight here. It's very nicely done. The way the shadows look really clean cut and nice too. You can kind of see it changes with where your your flashlight is. Very nicely done on the graphical department for this game. I have nothing bad to say about that whatsoever. I suppose maybe if you know, blocky graphics aren't really your thing. Maybe you won't like it. Oh, that's kind of annoying where you can't see over that wall. Let's see if we can upgrade some stuff. Um, resume. Let's see. How do I upgrade? I need to find out. Let's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to keyboard and mouse and we'll give that a shot here. There we go. So we have 27. What should we buy? Shotgun, machine gun, plasma. We're gonna buy the laser gun because it sounds awesome. And we're gonna upgrade it here. All right. Look at that. Oh, I love the blue. I love the blue. Oh, you can see it when it hits stuff, it leaves kind of like a light trail too. That is really nice looking. And I'm hoping, yeah, it does. Let's see, what does that do? That appears to have given us an extra life. All right. And it appears to do quite a bit of damage as well, which is very nice. The other cool thing is when you upgrade your gun, it kind of like tacks on this purple thing on top of it. It's like you're kind of crafting it and adding it on to your gun as you're going, which is kind of a nice touch as well. Honestly, I really don't have anything bad to say about this other than we couldn't get the, the multiplayer to work. I'll try talking to like Martyr or somebody who I know has this game. I saw him playing it a while back. See, maybe if we can schedule... Oh, that guy is tricksy. See if we can schedule where we can try out the multiplayer or something. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, I didn't mention with the price, though, it's $9.99, which, you know, that's up to you guys to de determine if this is the type of game for you for that price. But you can buy for $29.99 a four-pack, so it's slightly cheaper per, per game key. Those guys are really freaking annoying. 
It's slightly cheaper per game key, but you can buy multiple. That way you guys can play together, which is always a nice touch, especially for multiplayer centric games like this one. So I really hope we can unlock another level. I kind of want to see other levels as well. So how much money do we have? We have 12. How much do we need to upgrade? Let's see. I think that's tab. Yeah, we need 30. All right. Uh, the game keeps going on with what it's doing when you're in the upgrade menu. So try not to linger on it for too long. Maybe do that in between waves would be a better time to do that. Those guys are really annoying. Die! Just die, you stupid alien. There we go. All right. Here we go. So I feel like we're doing pretty good. Maybe next we'll try the insane mode just to compare uh, to how difficult it is with then the oh my god okay now we are getting swarmed okay so i complained about it being slightly easy now we're getting swarmed oh my god okay we got hit once that's not too bad oh money i'll take money all right so the difficulty definitely ramps up as you get new aliens and as you progress definitely need this as well i'm getting some some achievements that's pretty nice Oh, there we go. We're on wave four. We do not quite have enough for the upgrade to this gun. So, so we're going to hold off. There's some upgrades here we can pick up. I'm going to wait till till this, this loading bar here goes down. Okay. And we're going to grab one of these. Okay. It's coming after me. Oh, this must be that, like that pulse weapon or whatever. It looks pretty cool, honestly. There we go. I don't know if it's better or worse than our laser gun. It was cheaper or less expensive, so I would assume it's possibly, I don't know, not as good. Let's see what else we can get here. Oh, the shotgun. Let's try that out. The shotgun looks like it's really good for taking care of those guys who teleport because they can't quite teleport. I definitely need more health. Can we get more? We can get up to four. Okay. Because they can't teleport left and right because you just splatter them into oblivion. So, all right, here we go. Oh, we're back to this. I was, I was anticipating it being the shotgun. I didn't notice. We're going to upgrade really quick. Next one is 60. Ooh. So that's kind of cool. It changes the look of your gun. And it also changes how it fires as well. See, this is kind of more of a, a stream. Whereas the other one was more of a, like, bolts, you know? Bolts of energy. So that is really cool as well. Honestly, I, I'm really liking this game. I don't know if you can really hear the music in the background over me talking and also the sound of our gun, but there's this kind of like grungy, techno-y, spacey kind of music that really, really fits this type of game a lot. That is a really big freaking alien with a lot of health. My God, that guy took a lot to kill. I wonder how many waves there are. What are we on? We're on like four or five, aren't we? There we go. So here we go. We're going to kill some more of these guys. There we go. So, okay. So we have three different types of aliens so far. We have, uh, actually we have four. We have these medium sized ones, the huge ones, the tiny ones, and the annoying teleporting ones, which there's a lot of them coming after me. I'm going to get, you know, cornered with those guys here soon. There we go. Okay. All right, I think I'm starting to figure out how to to take those guys on. What else can we get here? So there's a pistol. There's six guns. Pistol, shotgun, machine gun, plasma, laser, and rocket launcher. All right. And they give you the stats for each one as well, which is nice. So you can see by upgrading, we do quite a bit more damage. The spread is a little bit less. The range is about the same, and the fire rate goes up. So I kind of want to see what this thing looks like fully upgraded because it changes. I think that would be awesome. So, all right, let's kill some things. I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna find some new aliens with this place, or with this one. Considering, can we even upgrade our health? No, healthful, okay. So, if we need more health, we know where there's two. I do not believe they go away, I believe they stay. So, the light flickering is kind of a nice touch. And the little blood stains on the walls. I don't know how the blood stain got all the way up there, but... All right, so, so far we have four different types. We're looking for a new one here. Let's see. There's even shadows on, like, the grass and stuff. 
I mean, there's not a lot of grass, but just enough to where it's a cool effect. So, oh, here we go. We're gonna take, you can kind of take care of the guys who teleport when you're a little bit further away. They seem to not teleport away. So if you can back up, see, they're not teleporting. You can take them out easier. So that that's a strategy right there in, a, in of itself. So let's back up here and take these guys out. The range on this is fairly impressive as well. You know, I'd actually kind of like to see a sniper rifle other than it'd be useless if you ever got kind of stuck in a, backed off in a corner because it'd have to be something like, uh, you know, like a bolt action or something. So maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. It'd be really nice for the damage if it was like the highest damage, you know, high risk, high reward gun there, but maybe not. So far, I've yet to see another alien type. Just... And w last time I said that, there was another alien type, like, right away. So... Although I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating... That was a really hard sentence to say, apparently. I'm anticipating some more of those really big guys. Oh, hello, you're not dead. There we go. All right. This this run is actually lasting a whole lot longer than I thought it would. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that guy doesn't have a face. Did you see that? So is that a fifth type then, Mr. No-Face? It's like uh, it's like Neo from The Matrix. Yeah, see? He doesn't have a face. So he can sneak up on you when you don't have your, your light shining on him. Oh, don't charge me, please. Come on, just be a friend. We're, we're just all trying to have a good time here. I mean, I don't see why we have to be attacking each other and, and eating each other and such. Oh, we can upgrade our, our weapon, can't we? No, 60. I thought it was 30. 30 was the one we were at before. I wish you could sprint or something. You kind of meander a little bit. I, I'm searching for money. Here's some money here. You kind of meander a little bit or something. So we're on wave seven. Oh, all right. This is where I'm anticipating it being a lot more difficult. So I'm gonna head back over towards that health just in case. When you're not facing them, when the light's not on them, they charge you. So definitely try and keep your light on as many aliens as you can at a time. I see one over here. There's the these guys. For the most annoying by far. There we go. Although we're we're starting to take them out pretty easy here. We're almost almost to the highest level of this gun. Here we go. All right, let's go barbecue some aliens here. 60, okay, let's let's grab that. Yeah, all right. Ooh, oh my God, that is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Look at that, that is awesome. I'm so glad I picked this gun of all of them. I don't know, it just looks super, super shiny. And I was right, I was right, it was super shiny. Can you not shoot through that? No, you can, all right. So. Honestly, if I had to recommend or not recommend this game, if this is your type of game, this kind of top-down twin-stick shooter survival shooter type game, and you think that the price point is something that you could manage, yeah, I definitely could see this game being something that you would enjoy. I mean, if you're if this isn't your type of genre, then by all means, you know, don't don't pick it up because maybe you won't be having as much fun. If all you ever play is like RPGs and stuff, then, you know, or maybe you want to try branching out. Maybe you want to try something new and maybe this is, you know, something that you could try. Oh, here's another. Oh, there's two of these big guys. So far, not much of a threat because they're really, really super, super uh, slow. So, all right, here we go. I want to see how many waves there are. You know, it's getting up there. We're, we've been playing for like 19 minutes, but we're still playing. I don't know if that just means I'm really good or that it's just really easy on medium mode here. I can't imagine what easy would be like. I wonder what the difficulty scaling is. If it's like health and speed and how much money they drop. I could see them all scaling with difficulty, but I'm not quite sure. All right. What, what wave are we on, by the way? So you don't even have to bother. Oh, we won! All right, so um, let's uh, let's end the game really quick. Can you go back to the to the main menu here and block cities next? I'm gonna play it on insane, and we're gonna see 
how long I can survive here. I already, I know we're already 20 minutes in, but I kind of want to see how the difficulty scales here because that was fairly easy. I've never played this game before and we beat it on our first try. So, oh, they are quite a bit faster. They are a lot faster. So this is definitely a lot more difficult. Definitely have to be on your toes and upgrade your, your, your weapons as soon as you can. Oh my God, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Something has gone horribly awry. Horribly amiss. All right. I hope I'm not backing myself into a corner here. Also, it doesn't look like they give you much money either. Okay. So, yeah. Insane difficulty. You know, not a lie. Fairly accurate so far. So, I think we can do it, though. We just have to... Oh, they start lunging when they get close to you as well. All right. We're gonna come this way. Oh my god. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. Oh my god. We're gonna... Yeah, we died. Well, that lasted a whole of 20 seconds, but it's... Oh my god, that horrible squishy sound. Um, I'm glad to see that there actually is a harder difficulty like that in this game. Definitely warrants it. I can gladly say this game is... This is not a shitty game, Jim Sterling. I can agree with that. If this looks like something that you would like to pick up, I'm going to leave everything you need down below in order for you to check it out. I'll leave the Steam page and everything as I normally do. Big thanks to the developers for, for sending me a code to check this out. Definitely helps me being able to create more quality content with you guys and try out a lot of new, really awesome games. I had a lot of fun with this. I could definitely see, especially with the leaderboards and the friends and stuff, being able to say, hey, I survived... 30 seconds on insane mode you only in you survived 27 seconds um but i don't know if this looks like something you'd like to play i'd say you know pick it up and with that i will see you guys in the next episode